Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. It's not an episode, it's a video. Jeez! <laughs> Come on, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. What the heck? And as you can see, I've got this rope and a cricket bat. Now, I'm going to show you today a way that you can practice your blocking, your blocking in cricket. So you know when you're like blocking is like when you bat out this, you bat, and then you're like blocking is when like you block the ball so it doesn't hit the wickets. I'm going to show you how you can make your homemade block system. So I'm going to show you. I'll bring the camera down here, but let's get into it. Here we go. Alright, now, how I made this and how I put this all together, my dad actually helped me, so all you really need, this rope, so, so all you really need for this locking system is a cricket ball, or a tennis ball, whatever you want, you need like this type of thickness rope, you need some tape, and just a, little, a thin piece, piece of string, so how, how we did it, so we got this from out of our rope box, an old cricket ball that we never used. So what I did was I got taped up the little was the little string and put that around the cricket ball. And you what do you want? You want to find one that has you want I'll show you there, look. So you want to find one. You want to find one. Usually every cricket ball has that the little gap in the middle. You want to find like an old cricket ball that has a gap little split so the rope can easily fit in there. But um, that's what we did. So we got this cricket ball, put the little string, then we taped it around like a lot. And then we, we got this little string up to here, up to the top, and then tie it up onto here. So it's really easy. Or you can either, to make your life a lot easier, you can get that uh, tennis game where you put in a pole and the, there's a hole already in the tennis ball. You can get that instead, but uh, we made this for a real cricket ball. And then all you're going to do is once once you've all got it up, you tie it up, you want to probably the length that I have it is dangling probably you can fit two hands under. So if you can fit two hands under the ball, that's really the height has to be. So just off. Touching them, when you're ready, you simply let it go. It'll come back and block it. That's really all. It's very simple. So now I'll show you how I do it. Alright guys, now I'll show you how to do it. So you can either stand either way, you can have like a bar on the top. All you're doing is you want to have some speed on it. So I don't have any box or pads on. Just let it go. Let it go, you get ready, and then you just block it. Let it come back, get ready, and you block it like that. Now you gotta watch out because that if you block it really hard, the ball will be flying all the way over the place. But I'm probably better going this way, so you can just do this, let it go, get your rhythm, and then you let it go, comes back, bounce a little bit, and then you can step right over here, ready, block it, and see you got to watch out because that will come flying into you. So, you don't need to have, um, you don't need to have any gear on, but you just got to watch out because that ball will be flying everywhere. Um, that's really it, guys. So how I got, I got a big uh, cross bead thing here from our swing sets when we were little, and we just thought, why not tie on that? So we did, and it works perfectly. Now you probably watched my how to play cricket tutorial. You can do the same thing with this. Let it go, and then and you can block it. You practice your blocking. Let it come back. It will come in in swing. Come like that. Wait for it to come back. Like that. Now watch out. Okay, like that. Cool. Get ready. Now watch out. See? It did that. That will happen sometimes. See? Did it play? It really plays up with you a lot. Now, now I'm going to show you just some things you have to look out for. Right, 
things you've got to look out for weather wise now you can leave this out in the rain you can leave this out in the rain if it's pouring rain it'll be fine but you never know that this tape could split and in the it might be around type thing the cricket ball's fine but if you have like a box or a towel just lay a box on it let it fall in grab another box and honestly you just Or you can just leave it in the rain, whatever you want. Now, if you have a little brother or little sister that are near you, make sure they're away from any area. So if it spins out like that, come back. If they hit them, it will hurt if it hits you. It won't hurt, but if it hits you anywhere near the face, it will hurt. So that's just conditions. Like if you have little brothers or sisters, if they get hit, it will hurt, probably, but they won't. It won't kill them. So. Really, just watch out for those people around you. You can do it by yourself. If you want another person on the other end, you let them put some force on it to uh, make you hit it well. Yeah, that's really it. You can try this at home, but be careful whoever's around you. And another one more reason is that my dad told me if you have any like cousins or friends that come over to play with this or want to play with it, all you really have to don't let them just smack it as hard as like I'll show you so what you should be doing is this you should be letting it go and you're just practicing your block motion you're not practicing smacking you can practice that but if other kids come over don't let them do this you don't want anyone to do this I did it but it, it should not break but if it does it might be good so you should not do this if it comes towards you you don't want to Smack it like that, it won't break, but like that wasn't hard enough. But if you like, if they're really smacking it like this, like that, see that's that's not what you want to do because that little thin rope will probably snap over time. So there are terms and conditions that I think is good about this thing. But yeah guys, that is really all. Oh, one more thing you can do to practice is just grab your stumps of wickets, put it behind so you know if it's going to hit you or not. Practice that. Um, yeah, just that's how I that's how I made that homemade. So it's a really good cricket uh, thing. And good job, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. what you don't want to do. That's what you don't want to do. Come on, Theo, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. It's not an episode, it's a video. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of how to play cricket. It's not how to play cricket, it's just showing you a way to learn how they are. Oh, so. oh. Hi. Let me show you how you should do this properly. I'm going to show you. Theo does it. But you don't want to do that. <laughs> Bye. 
make sure you guys stay safe with this uh, object. It is a really hard cricket ball. It could hit you in the head and you'll die. So I named this guy Bob. The old man Bob, he's been alive for, I don't know, 30 years. He's hang strong, but you just got to be careful. You don't want to hit yourself in the head. It might hurt, but yeah. So yeah.